Uh, Jim, thank you very much for agreeing to this interview today. Uh, I wonder if we might start uh, with you just briefly telling us where you were born, where you went to school, uh, including your high school, and when you enlisted. Well, I was born in December the 13th, 1919, at a paternity hospital in Aberdeen Street in West Perth. And then, as I grew up, I uh, ended up at the uh, Victoria Park Primary School, which uh, I didn't start till I was six. My mother kept me back a year. Uh, when I finally went to high school, it was the Junior Technical College in Newcastle Street. Mm -hmm. And I was left school when I was 14 and a half to get a job, which I got a job in a sign writing firm. Uh, when I was 19, I joined the Cameron Highlanders. That was a militia unit, was it? A militia uh, unit. Uh -huh. And uh, I was in that till the, when the war broke out. I was home with the mumps and I was thought, oh God, I'm going to miss out on the camp. And we went to Rottnest for a one month camp. And then uh, later in January 1940, I did a three months camp in Northern. But I had five mates all in with me and we got restless and felt that we should be doing something better and we put our name down for the AIF. And when were you accepted in the AIF? I was uh, accepted in, in August, uh, but we never got our call up till the 18th of October 1940. So that's the day that they joined the AIF. And what unit were you allocated to? Well, uh, not straight away, but we went to Ascot race course for basic training and then to Northern to do, uh, uh, we found ourselves in the 2nd 4th Machine Gun Battalion. Now, I, I, I just want to sort of gloss over the, the 2nd 4th. Uh, maybe you could just tell us quickly where you trained and take us through to the point where you're in Darwin and something happens up there. Yeah, well, right. we did uh, uh, four or five months training in Northern. I was made a number one machine gunner. And uh, in, I think around about June, we, we were sent to Woodside, South Australia. We went by the sea on the Duntroon, round to Adelaide and then we had three months in uh, Woodside camp training, marching up and down the uh, Mount Lofty ranges and and uh, with this colonel we had making sure we were fit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think around about the end of September we were sent to Darwin. And we went uh, by train to Alice Springs and then by Alice Springs to uh, Larimar, I think, by truck. And then we got on a train from Larimar to Darwin and we were in a Winnelly camp. Uh -huh. We were in there till the Christmas time. Uh, the Japanese came in the war in December, uh, early December, I think it was, uh, when they attacked Pearl Harbor and we. Uh, shipped out from Darwin on, I think it was on New Year's Eve. What ship did you move, I was leave Darwin on? On the M Morella, uh -huh. a, yeah. a, a small ship uh -huh. and uh, not the whole battalion, but well, I think some are on another ship that oh. we went to uh, Port Moresby where the Aquitania was uh, at anchor there and we transferred but the, the captain of the Aquitania said, you know, we had to move ourselves because uh, Rabaul was getting bombed and, and he had to get out as quick as he can, and, which he did. We loaded our stuff in, left all the officers' stuff first and loaded our own stuff on. <laughs> rightly so, rightly so. <laughs> and uh, down to Sydney, 
mm -hmm. two days leave there mm -hmm. and pick up some more reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Then you moved on to you Perth? Round to Perth. What happened in Perth? Yeah, well, we took, um, some of us took, uh, went AWL. The did, did you go AWL? Yeah, I'm afraid I didn't. Oh. Yes, yes. Uh, well, I wasn't going to, but when I saw all the rest oh. going, I thought, uh, yes, we'll go. So the six of us decided we got out of out the porthole. And I went home, saw my mother and my girlfriend and that, and we arranged to meet at 8 o'clock next morning at the Perth station, which we did, and down to Fremantle, and I tell you, we were very pleased when we could see the Aquitania still anchored in Gage Roads, and had one quick beer in Fremantle, and down to the wharf, and the Zephyr was going out, mm -hmm. and got on the Zephyr, and got on board, and all the officers were waiting as we climbed on board and we didn't get too good a reception. Mm. <laughs> Did any of your mates get left behind? Uh, none of my personal mates, no. but some did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah but so you, you then moved up to, to towards Singapore? Towards Singapore. Uh, was, your, was it a convoy? Yes, a convoy. And were there... Uh, was there a naval escort? Yeah, naval mm. escort. I can't mm. remember the, the destroyer mm. or a cruiser, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Might have been the Australia, I'm not sure, but mm. uh, we were escorted up there. Mm. And we, we arrived up there and uh, happened to be just a fluky day. It was cloudy and it hadn't been bombed. And we went to uh, Woodside, I think was the name of the camp we have been in up in Singapore. Oh, it was, it was coincidentally yeah. the same name, yeah. yes. Now, when uh, the second, fourth machine gunners were deployed in assisting the defence of Singapore, where were you? We, we were in A, I was in A Company, mm. we were sort of held in reserve. Mm. We were in some rubber trees, patrolling ground. We got, we got shelled very badly. Uh, one day, mm. the, coming over, one guy had been in the First World War and he reckoned it was as good as a barrage he'd ever seen in France. Mm. And uh, But uh, no, we were split up from the rest of the battalion, his mm. A Company. Mm -hmm. And uh, had you had contact with your Battalion Regimental Medical Officer at that stage? No, no, no. Did you know who he was? No. Oh, I knew. Oh, no. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. Well, I knew, yeah. knew Claude. Yes, yes yeah. Yes, yeah, so I knew Claude very well. In, uh, and who were the officers in A Company? Um, Saggers was the OC. OC. Mm. Uh, Archie Thomas. Mm. Uh, um, McCaffrey. He was a a staff officer. Um, where were the others? Um, Mentorplay. Uh, oh, geez, that, 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 that's enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, is there anything you really remember that's really significant in your mind about the battle for Singapore? Just utter confusion yeah. where we were. We we went to tank. We were first time we were really under fire was in Tangi Aerodrome. Mm. We, we had formed up there and the, the Japs were up on a hill and uh, the chap next to me, uh, 